on redirection and pipes in Linux. So these are the learning outcomes. At end of this session, students will be able to explain redirection and pipes in Linux. So we will now move to the next slide that is on the redirection. So first we will understand what is redirection. Redirection is a feature in Linux such that when executing the command you can change the standard input output devices. The basic workflow of any Linux command is that it takes an input and gives an output. The standard input that is STDIN that is the device is the keyboard and the standard output that is the device is the screen. With redirection the above standard input and output can be changed here. So the output direction the, for the symbol is used that is the greater than sign. So the greater, de, uh, greater than uh, sign the symbol is used for the output that is std out redirection and for the input redirection the less than sign the symbol is used for the input that is std in redirection. Next we will see the file dissipators that is fd. In Linux, the every file has the number called FD. If you execute any command or the program in Linux, there are three files are always open. They are that is the standard in, standard out, and the standard error. For that, the file numbers are given. That is, the file number is zero for the standard in, for the standard output it is one, and the standard uh, error is the two. So in Linux or uh, Unix, the everything is a file. That is the regular file, directories or even the devices are files. Every file has an associate number called as a file dissipators. Your screen also has an file dissipator. When a program is executed, the output is sent to the file dissipators on the screen. And you see the program output on the monitor. If the output is sent to the file dissipators of the printer, the program output would have been printed. So these are known as an file dissipators. So now we will see one more feature that is an uh, that is the error redirection. So when whenever you execute the program or the command at the terminal, the three files are always open that is standard input, standard output and the standard error. So these files are always represent whenever the program is run. As explained before, the file dissipator is associated with each of these file. So as we have seen in the previous slide, that is standard input, zero file dissipator is associated. For standard output, it is one and the standard error, that is std err, that is two. So by default, the error stream is displayed on the screen and the error redirection is routing to the errors to the file other than the screen. So while searching for the files, the one typically gets the permission denied errors. These errors usually do not help the person searching a particular file. So while executing the shell script, you often do not want an error message to be displayed on the out program outcome. The solution is to redirect the error message to the file. So next we are going to see what are the pipes in Linux. The symbol a pipe donates the pipe. If you want to use the pipe command in the Linux, we have to uh, use this symbol that is a straight line. That is the pipe. And the pipes are used to run the two commands consecutively. And it helps in the powerful command for making the uh, powerful command in the Linux. Uh, so we'll uh, see in detail. The pipe is the command in the Linux that lets you to use two or the more commands such that the output of one command serves as the input to the next. In short, the output of each process is directly as inputted to the next one like a pipeline. The symbol uh, straight line that is known as the pipe. Uh, the pipe helps uh, you smash up the two or more commands at the same time and run them consecutively. You can use more powerful commands which can be performed the complex task in a second. Next. If you want to use one more uh, consecutively command with the pipe, so that is one more that is the grep command. So what does the grep commands does? It sorts the documents. So that's why it is known as an the sorting command also. That's 
it scans the documents if you want to use uh, the grep command you have to use in uh, the following uh, command that is present the result in the format you want that is grep and this search for the string in the file so all these redirection the file dissipators pipe and the grep commands we are demonstrate using the linux terminal so suppose if you want to search a particular file information uh, the postal code from the text file you may manually uh, <coughs> see the content yourself to the trace the information a better option is to use the grep command it will scan the document for the desired information and present the result in the format you want means it is like an sorting so now whatever we have uh, seen so we have to do an, a demonstration using an linux so i will be switching over to the uh, terminal so what we have seen in the previous videos so now we will see the output redirection how it has been used so for using an output redirection we have to make use of an greater sign here so now we will see how many files are there on the desktop here so for that we are going to make use of an ls command so there is only one file if you want to get the details of this file so we have to make use of an command ls minus al so you will get all the uh, details of this file here that is uh, this is the directory read write uh, access and all this root who is the permission who is the owner and all this thing here now suppose i <coughs> if you want to make use of an output direction whatever the output is going to be there that file has to be in create here so for creating the file we have seen touch output so that file will be created if you want to see you can see now that is file as well as the output file will be there now whatever the commands we are going to see ls minus al greater than the output will be printed into that file that is an output so if we do the cat using if you want to see the uh, <coughs> the things inside the output file we can see by using the cat command so whatever the things are there detail so it has been outputted on the output file here in the same manner if you want to append the new things whatever you have done here now suppose if you want to add echo you have to make use of and double this echo i c t into the same file that is an output so it will be appended in the same manner here now if you see that command that is cat ls minus al cat output so if you have seen these are the two files here so use the correct file name while the redirecting the command output to the file if there is an existing file with the same name the redirected command will delete the content of that file and then it may be an overwritten if you don't want to file to be overwritten but if you want to add more contents into an existing file then it should be double greater than sign operator should be used here okay next we'll see the input direction here so input direction is uh, nothing but you have to make use of an the uh, less than sign here now suppose if you are going to make use of an mail suppose if you are going to mail this the subject name is good morning to address and the file name whatever the file you are going to attach that will be then input to the mail so now suppose the file is dot c here if you run this command uh, you will be inputted to that mail here and the mail will be sent to that email address here but now the file mail server is not installed here so that's why if you run this command so it will be not say it will not be sent here because the mail command is not found here so before trying to this install mail utils then you will be able to run this command here okay next we'll see the summary of redirection each file in the linux has an corresponding file dissipators associated with it 
the keyboard is the standard input device which your screen is the standard output device a greater than is the output redirection operator and double uh, greater than in uh, signs are used it will append output to an existing file so next if you see the less than it is an input redirection uh, operator here so you can redirect the error using an corresponding file that is dissipator 2 so now we'll see uh, the examples of an a pipe and the grape here now suppose if you've done a cat and output file so you have seen all this data here now suppose if you want to see the less data you can see you can make use of an cat make use of an pipe make use of an pipe here output pipe less so the less data will be shown here if it is more than you can have now suppose if you want to quit this you have to make use of an queue here so in this way you are going to make use of an pipe so instead of less you can also use the cat the output file name and pipe pg or the cat file name or more if the more contents are to be displayed here now suppose if you are going to make use of an the grape command here so for that we'll add some file uh, data to the some file here so before that we have to create one file touch file one so touch file is created so in that we are going to make use of an nano command so we'll write cat dog apple eight so these are the four things i have kept here enter so if you cut, see the file so you'll see cat dog apple and eat here now so using the grape command if you want to search for an apple so we are going to do that so cat file name pipe grape command and apple so it will search for the apple here in the same manner if you want to search for a dog so you can search for the dog it will search the particular data inside the file here so there are many more commands you can make use of the grape command suppose if you are going to make use of an the minus v so it shows all the lines that do not match the search string in the same manner if you are going to do with minus i just show the name of the file using the string here so let us try with the one example that is option minus i on the same file what we have done here so using this command so we have cat file name grape minus i a so whatever the a is there so it will be shown so cat has a apple has an a it has an a so for particular whatever the string we want to search you can string using the grape i command in the same manner there are minus c minus n and minus l commands are used using the grape command here so this was the demonstration for the pipes grape commands used here now so this was then grape command here so now just recall uh, how many files are used for representing the different standard stream so the answer is three that is input output and the error file that is the standard input standard output and standard error here so these are my references. Thank you.